everybody, this is SL13377 Don Bright, and I'm going to show you guys how to put on your full Kylo Ren costume. Uh, this costume, I call it a soft parts Vader. It's just about as expensive as a Vader, and there's just about as many layers as a Vader, and arguably, it's hotter than a Vader. Um, okay, so the first thing is, is uh, you're going to want to put on your pants, which these are the Faded Glory Jeggings from Walmart. Only buy black, do not buy the snakeskin brand. They run about $7 online. Um, and you're gonna wanna put on your boots. So the next thing you wanna put on is your bondage collar. This is these straps of leather. You go around your neck. So I'm gonna go on just like that and lay flat. Next thing you're gonna wanna put on is your sleeves. I know there's a lot of arguments over whether or not the tunic might be attached to the sleeves. I say it's not because there's far too much movement and because you can see a lot of, uh, of, uh, of spots underneath the C7 display. I made it as tight as I possibly could, but still have tons of movement. And the next piece you're gonna wanna put on is your tunic. My tunic is in two pieces. I have a top piece and a bottom piece. Slightly open. Here's my top piece. Now, as you can see here, there is no color on it. Now you might ask why I left a giant gap in the center. It's because that's where my belt goes. You're never gonna see it without its belt anyways. That's just a guess. So the next piece you're gonna wanna put on is your midcoat. Here's the midcoat. The midcoat has a one and a half inch collar and it's pleated. And it's basically made in the same design as your surcoat, but it opens in the front rather than in the back. I'm having a wardrobe malfunction here. There we go. I have not affixed any hooks to the front yet because I don't know exactly how it closes. I don't want to try and guess. And I also don't want it to destroy more material than I need to. So we do know it's very closed at the top. So that's what we're going to do. And so, all right, next, um, next. Now I have my skirting. You'll, you'll notice I'm rather tall right now. I have my skirting and my top of my surcoat in two different pieces because I have three different pairs of boots all ranging between making me a uh, 5'10 and six foot um, four. That's without the helmet. So I put it on. It's all set up for that length. Wrap it on. Now you can see here you've got your surcoat, midcoat, tunic, pants. Now comes the last part, which is the hood. This costume is very hard to put on by yourself if you do it in this manner, but to be honest, it's just a lot of layers. And finally, the belt. Now I tell people to make their belt three to four inches larger, at least two and a half inches larger than you normally are because the costume makes you extremely bulky. Now we found out we don't need a balaclava based upon the last reference.
And we have Kylo Ren. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope that cleared up some stuff for you guys. And have a wonderful day.